clubs, specifically off-road clubs. Barry from Cross Training Enduro Skills and myself, Dallas, from Traction ERAG, recently got together and had a long format discussion about clubs, and we asked a lot of tough questions. Uh, so Barry, I'll, I'll open her up with a question for you. Um, would you mind giving us a synopsis of what club life looks like in Australia? I'd have to start with that really bad joke about club sandwiches, not baby seals. And I think a bit like the baby seals, yeah, clubs are almost non-existent in Australia. It's something that happened, I'd say, 20, 30 years ago, but there just seems to be an incredible level of apathy in Australia where very few people actually put the work to keep clubs going. And so we barely have any. We, we've maybe got a handful of trials riding clubs. That's just about it. Clubs are very important here and they liaison with the governments to keep riding areas open. And I think, at least here in Canada, this phenomenon occurs because Canadians live, we're all hugging the US border, the southern border, uh, mostly just for survival and uh, get out of the cold. But, you know, most of us live as far south as we can. And because of that, we have a lot of pressure, population pressure on areas where guys like to ride dirt bikes because we all live down in the southern region. And whenever you bring in people and riding areas, people like to hike and they like to mountain bike and they like to do all these things on the trails that a lot of these trails started as dirt bike trails. So I feel like the people that are just joining the trail network have a sense of ownership that they are not entitled to and it creates a lot of conflict.